I met a dark-haired beauty where the lay the west get down in southern Arizona in a little border town. She had to dance for money in that dusty old saloon. I dropped a dollar in the jukebox, played that girl a tune, yeah. Never see it coming. It just hits you by surprise. It's that cold place in your soul, and that fire in her eyes that makes you come together like wild horses when they run. Now the cards are on the table, and the bullets in the gun. Yeah. Run, nigga, run. Uh, first time somebody called me a nigga was uh, second grade, first day of school. Little, little white girl, name was Carol. I'll, I'll leave out her last name. And it wasn't even like mean, it was like, hi, nigger. What's the name of this cat? Nigger. I remember the first time I heard it, and I've never been really offended by it. Because the first time I heard it, it came out of somebody's black mouth. Once you get a job, nigger, be respectful. I was probably crawling the first time somebody called me nigger, and it was probably in my house. Uh, because. I've heard it all my life, and it was probably, uh, I either did something wrong and somebody said it to me as, nigga, stop doing that, or somebody said, that's a cute little nigga. Am I a nigga? And if the answer is yes, don't be ashamed to admit you're a nigga. No. Die, nigga. Why you brothers and sisters? Nigga, nigga, nigga. That's all I hear you motherfuckers talking about is nigga. I ain't no nigga. Does everything out your mouth have to be a four letter word? What are you motherfuckers doing for the community anyway? Motherfucker, I got kids. I don't want them listening to that bullshit. Fuck the niggas. You motherfuckers need to stop. How could you call yourself a nigga and be proud of it? Flatline. It's hard to hurt me with hurt me with words. I had never heard the word with such ninja. What does this word mean? The first, the first, first thing, first thing you need to know about. First thing you need to know about me is I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. Who's gonna call you a nigga? Nobody. Nobody. Except other niggas. Niggas going nowhere. By 1992, 44-year-old Ozzy Osbourne had spent 24 years ruling heavy metal. His career had endured scandals, lawsuits, and drug addictions. But a visit to the doctor nearly ended it all. Ozzy was having difficulty walking, so his wife Sharon took him to a neurologist. I went to this guy who gives me a spinal tap, brain scan, MRI, you name it, blood work, everything. Unbeknown to me, he said to Sharon, I think your husband's got a little bit of MS. DNA decides the, the characteristics of the body. Now, scientists think they know a lot about DNA. They know shit about DNA compared with the reptilians. They have the ability and the knowledge to move to the human codes of the DNA and appear to us to be human and move then to the reptilian codes of the DNA and shift, literally in front of your eyes, into a reptilian form. But have people witnessed this? Well, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people who have witnessed this. I've come across uh, endless stories. One of them, for instance, uh, came from a, a victim of US government mind control. There are these massive mind control projects. And uh, she tells uh, the story in her book, and she told me personally, of how she was with George Bush, the father, in the White House when he was vice president. And he told her they were a extraterrestrial race that had taken over the planet, but no one realized it because they looked human. They, he came, they came from a far off space place.
it was a revolution all the way through, even as far as I, as photography was. Because here's where we started to use 35 millimeter. Here is where we started to print pictures in the newspaper, which was never done before. 35 millimeter, available light photography, spontaneous reportage type of pictures. We did a magazine every day. And for me, personally, it was a starting point. Fidel called the young Roberto Salitas, distinguishing him from his father, El Viejo, as Osvaldo was respectfully known in Cuba. Together, the solaces helped to give birth to modern photojournalism on the island. But detractors dismissed the work as pure propaganda. I don't say that you produce propaganda. What you do is use for propaganda. Corda took the picture of Che. Corda didn't make the icon. The icon was made by the people. We just took the images.